Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today's lecture is going to be about qualities of brick and this lecture is going to be more useful to the students of first year of architecture. This can come as a question in your exam. Write a short note on the qualities of good brick. So you can take down notes while you are viewing this lecture and prepare for your exam. So the very first slide is showing the summary of the points that you would write as qualities of good brick. So the first three points are concerned with the appearance of the brickwork. So the first point is that brick should have uniform size and shape because many times bricks are used as exposed brickwork. Then they should have sharp edges and plain surfaces. Again, this will make the brickwork look very neat and nice when it is in the exposed condition. And again, uniform color and texture is very important for exposed brickwork. So these are the three points as far as appearance of the brickwork is concerned. Next point is that it should have a frog which is 10 millimeters deep on the top face. Now a frog means that it is a sort of a depression in the face of the brick and we'll learn more about it when we go to the next slide. The brick should not be too porous that means they should not absorb too much of water. There is a specific test for this which we will be learning in the presentation. Next is they should be emitting a ringing sound when struck. This is a test which you can do on the site to find out whether the bricks are well burnt or not. Next is that when bricks are going to be used for load bearing structures, they should have sufficient strength because they have to take the load of the uh, bricks themselves and the floor and therefore they should have a strength which is not less than 4 newtons per square millimeter. Lastly, the bricks should not show any efflorescence means that they should not show any white patches which are caused as a result of the presence of salt. So now let us see these points slightly more in detail. So the first slide is showing you the standard brick size and the standard brick size is 230 along its length, 110 along the width and 70 millimeters in height and on top face there is a depression which we call as a frog. Now these two dimensions that is the length and the width have a certain relationship to each other. The length of the brick is going to be twice its width plus 10 mm mortar joint. So this is how the, the 230 dimension can be derived that it is 110 plus 110 plus 10 mm of mortar joint total gives you 230 millimeters. So this is called as a modular dimension of the brick and it is important because the same brick is now going to be used in different ways to form different bonds and it can have different thicknesses ranging from half brick thick to uh, one and a half brick, two brick and so on. So this is why the bricks have got a particular dimension called as the modular dimension. Next is that the brick should have sharp edges and uniform surfaces. Very important from point of view of aesthetics. As you can see in this photograph, the brick has got a very uniform texture and color and very sharp edges. This is going to be important from point of view of exposed brickwork again. Next quality is regarding how much water the bricks are going to absorb. If bricks absorb too much of water, they will lose their strength plus that water will enter inside the rooms and uh, it will show moisture inside patches inside and so on. So we don't want the bricks to absorb more moisture. And therefore, there is a sort of a norm which says that a good quality brick should not absorb water more than 20% by its weight. 
and this can be tested by using a simple test on the site. So how is that done? What you do is take the brick in a dry state and measure its weight, note it down as W1, then immerse the dry brick in water for 24 hours, let it saturate completely with uh, water, again take its weight and note it down as W2. The difference in the weight between the brick in the dry state and the brick in the wet state, that is W2 minus W1, should not be more than 20% difference in the two weights. Next quality is that uh, the brick should make a ringing sound when struck. Now, this also can be used as a small test on the side that when we have a brick which is a well burnt brick and if we strike it with any object then it will emit a metallic sound while as if the brick is not well burnt then it will emit a dull sound. So this test will show you the quality of the brick that is how well it is burnt. Next quality is again a sort of a small test which you can do on the site to understand whether the brick is of good quality or not. You can take a brick and drop it from waist height on a hard surface. Now when you drop it on the hard surface maybe some sort of small chipping of the corners can take place that is okay that is acceptable but the brick should not break into two pieces as has been shown here. So this is again a simple test for understanding quality. Next is regarding the crushing strength of the brick. So this is very important from point of view of load bearing structure where the brick has to be strong enough to take the load of the structure and therefore we will see that it should have a crushing strength which should be greater than 4 newtons per square millimeter. Next quality is that it should not show any efflorescence. So what is efflorescence? What it means is that efflorescence means the deposition of salts. So how is the test done for this? So what we do is that we take the bricks, soak them in water and later on dry them. When they are dried they should not show any white patches on the surface of the brick. If such white patches are seen, that would indicate the presence of salts in the brick. This would be leading to bad appearance of the brick coat. So again to quickly summarize the qualities of good brick, we have got first point is uniform size and shape, then sharp edges and plain surfaces, it should have uniform color and texture, it should have a frog 10 mm deep on the top face, it should not be too porous should not emit ringing sound when struck, should have a compressive strength not less than 4 newtons per square millimeter, should not show efflorescence and should not break easily when dropped from a waist height. So these are uh, the qualities of good brick. I hope you have liked this lecture. If you have any queries you can write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. If you have liked this lecture please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Thank you.